Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my members. Ajat Munajat, Dubli Stoey, Sang77777, PJ Parth, and Abu Salim. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button and members are giving shout outs in my videos. I include the original names so that you can look them up if they have a channel. All right, let's get started. So we have this exponential equation, which I think is pretty interesting. And for the solution, I'll be presenting two methods. But the first method kind of has like two branches. So we can call them 1a and 1b for finding uh, one of the solutions. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First method. Now, I'm going to ln both sides and you can use any base. If you want, you can log both sides, base 2 or another base, but I'm going to use ln. Because ln function is kind of easier to look at uh, if you need to differentiate, so on and so forth. So, if we ln both sides, we get something like this. And then, using the properties of logs, uh, we have a product, so we can write it as ln 2 to the power x squared plus ln 3 to the power x equals ln 6. And by using another property, we can go ahead and move these and write this as x squared ln 2 plus x times ln 3 equals ln 6. Now, of course, when we use logarithms, we have to be careful about the domain, but so on and so forth. In this case, it's okay because uh, we are only uh, taking the logarithms of numbers and they're all well defined. So, we're good. Now, how do you go about solving something like this, right? Well, if you look at it carefully, you're going to notice this is a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and arrange the um, coefficients a little bit. So write it as ln 2 times x squared plus ln 3 times x minus ln 6 equals 0. So this is quadratic in x. And we, we actually have two ways to go about it. That's where I kind of branch off to 1a and 1b. So let's go talk about 1a first. So I'm going to just use the quadratic formula for this one. And it's going to be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is ln 3 squared. By the way, that's not ln 9. That's different. Minus 4 times ln 2 times negative ln 6. So it's going to make it a positive. So I'm going to write these in parentheses so we don't get confused. And all of that is divided by 2a, which is 2 times ln 2. I mean, if you want, you can divide both sides by ln 2. So get, you get rid of the coefficient of x squared. Uh, but that's not necessary. So let's go ahead and simplify this. But I want to simplify the, um, what is that called? Delta, discriminant. So let's go ahead and write the expression under the radical and simplify it before we can plug it in. So now... Uh, here's what I can do to simplify it. Since 6 is 3 times 2, I can write uh, ln 3 times 2 as ln 3 plus ln 2. And I use the distributive property. Let's go ahead and do that. I can write this as ln 2 plus ln 3. And now this becomes ln 3 quantity squared plus 4 times ln 2 quantity squared. By the way, 4 is not squared. Plus 4 times ln 2 times ln3. Let's go ahead and put all the logs in parentheses so we don't get confused. Now this is the discriminant or delta. Let's call call it delta, the Greek letter. Uh, and you get, hopefully you notice that this is a perfect square, which is perfect, right? So this is our discriminant is ln3 plus 2 times ln2 quantity squared. So let's go ahead and write it like this. And since I'm going to square root that expression, there's a plus minus sign, I can just go ahead and write it without the square. So from here, x becomes negative ln3 plus minus. Now I don't need to um, write the square because I'm square rooting it, right? So something like this. And then all of that is divided by 2 ln2, right? Now, this gives us two solutions. Let's go ahead and find them separately. Um, let's see. First of all, I'm going to use the plus sign. So negative ln3 plus ln3 plus 2 ln2 
and all of that is divided by 2 ln 2. These two cancel out, leaving us with x equals 1. Yes, that's one of the solutions, and that's going to bring us to uh, 1b later on. And the other solution is going to be the minus sign, negative ln 3 minus ln 3 minus 2 ln 2. You have to negate uh, what's inside the parentheses. And if you simplify this, this is going to become uh, negative 2 times ln 3 plus ln 2 and all of that is divided by 2 ln 2. So 2 cancels out, leaving us with n ln 3 plus ln 2 here. Now, we already separated, but it's probably better to combine them now. You can write it as ln 6, and the second solution becomes negative ln 6 divided by ln 2. Okay, so we have two solutions, and these are the solutions. All right, great. So later on, I'm going to show you a graph, so you can also see the uh, solutions uh, visually. Okay, great. So these are the solutions. Let's go ahead and talk about the 1B, which is our alternative method for um, finding the solutions. But we're kind of still using the first method because we have a quadratic equation, and that's what we're using. But solution methods are different. Okay, great. So let me rewrite my quadratic equation. Uh, my Rewrite my quadratic equation. So ln 2 times x squared plus ln 3 times x minus ln 6 is equal to 0. So x equals 1 should be a uh, solution. Uh, by inspection, we can tell. Uh, because uh, if you look at the sum of the coefficients, ln 2 plus ln 3 minus ln 6 is the same thing as ln 6 minus ln 6, and that's equal to 0. And remember, in polynomials, this is a polynomial, by the way, um, if the sum of the coefficients is 0, then one of the solutions is going to be x equals 1. So we know that x equals 1 is a solution. That's awesome, right? Without using any formulas. Great. Now, at this point, you can obviously um, do something to find the other solution, uh, like you can kind of factor it, so on and so forth, but that's not necessary because Vieta's formulas uh, actually will be very helpful here. And I think I made a video on Vieta's formula, so I can probably link that right here. So Vieta's formulas. And Vieta's formulas tells us that um, if the roots are x1 and x2, their product is going to be c over a. By the way, we're talking about a quadratic equation, which can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Awesome. So uh, in this equation, uh, c is negative ln 6, uh, and a is, a is ln 2. So that gives us the product, but remember, one of the roots is 1, right? So if x1 is 1, from here we get x2 as just what the answer is, right? Negative ln 6 divided by ln 2. So this kind of gives us the answer real quick. We don't really have to get into any quadratic formulas. We can find it directly from Vieta's formulas. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Second method is different. The first method uses logarithms. And the second method is just going to use the properties of exponents. So let's go ahead and write. So this is our original problem. And let's go ahead and write the 6 as 2 times 3. And I know what you're thinking. Like, okay, this equals this and this equals that. But that's not only what I'm looking at. I want to put the 2s on one side and the 3s on the other side. So let's go ahead and write it as 2 to the power x squared minus 1. So we're dividing by 2. And uh, we're dividing by 3. That gives us 3 divided by 3 to the power x, which is 3 to the power 1 minus x. Okay? So now notice that x equals 1 is a solution here. How do you see that very clearly? Well, you probably saw that here. But even if you didn't, x equals 1 is clearly a solution because 2 to the power 0 equals 3 to the power 0, obviously, right? So that's a solution. How can I take advantage of that by using exponents? Well, I can write this as 2 to the power Let's see, x plus 1 to the power x minus 1. And this one I can write as 3 to the power negative 1 times x minus 1. So I just needed to negate 1 minus x to get x minus 1. Make sense? Okay, great. Now, I notice that in this case, I'm assuming that x does not equal 1 because I already got that as a solution. If x does not equal 1, then I can basically raise both sides to the power 1 over x minus 1. It's kind of like equivalent to dividing the exponents by x minus 1. So they kind of cancel out. And we end up with 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 3 to the power negative 1, which can be written as 1 third, by the way. 
Awesome. Now, we can write this as 2 to the power x times 2 equals 1 third. And my goal is to isolate 2 to the power x, so let's go ahead and write it as 1 over 6. This is great because now by using logs, obviously I have to use it right at this point because 1 over 6 is not an integer power of 2. So we're going to use logs, but we can just ln both sides, which is easy, right? And now that brings the x for, uh, down and that gives us x times ln 2 equals. Now ln 1 over 6 can be written as ln 6 to the power negative 1 which is same thing as negative ln 6 because as you know we can move the power. So, and if you divide both sides by ln 2 you get x equals negative ln 6 divided by ln 2. But I already knew that x equals 1 is a solution. Remember here we got that real quick because 2 to the power 0 equals 3 to the power 0. Therefore we got our two solutions again by using a different method. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.